All right, guys, it's Friday. Today we're gonna to be doing some strength work with our legs. We're gonna be doing a five, three, one, um, two rounds of that with the front squat. So we're trying to see kind of where we're at with our numbers with the fives, threes, and the ones. So the first round, we wanna kind of be at like an 80, 90% effort level. So it's challenging. Um, not that we're at a five rep max, three rep max, or even a one rep max in that first round. Second round, we can add a little bit of weight based on how that first round went. So we're trying to kind of go up in weight, really try to stimulate the nervous system, then dial it back again on the second round and try to, on that second wave, be a little bit heavier and even try to dial it up even more. So with that front squat, we're building lower body strength a little bit more through the core and the front side of our body. Um, we wanna see kind of where we're at with our numbers, log these down or look at your uh, scores from before and see kind of if you can maybe beat them from last time. If not, maybe match them or just see how it feels for today um, and try to focus on moving really well throughout those five, three, one sets. So two rounds of that. After that, we got our workout to chipper. One round, 800 meter run to start off with, going into 40 bar facing burpees and then 20 deadlifts at 315, 205. So the focus of today's workout is to build strength. We're going into our deadlifts with a lot of fatigue built into it. So we want to maintain a good, nice and tight core going uh, into those deadlifts, seeing if we can hold on to the bar for reps of three to five um, as we do it. So make sure the way that you choose today, I would say maintain at least three in a row, three touch and go reps. We don't want to be doing singles throughout the uh, 20 deadlifts. Uh, maybe if we really need to, the last kind of five reps, maybe we can do some singles at the end, but try to see if you can get to a warm up weight or to a workout weight that um, you can do at least three of touch and go. Again, we're trying to build strength here today, so we don't want to be spending the whole entire time of the workout trying to just go through the deadlifts. We want to make this uh, just kind of challenging enough where we can work through it, get it done underneath the time cap or get really close. Uh, but not spend the whole kind of workout just on the deadlifts. So um, 800 meter run, manage the pace, bar facing burpees is a big chunk of them. Uh, so we don't want to go too fast. I'd say kind of nice steady pace, almost like how you would treat your run. So when you go into the deadlifts, you can really attack it nice and hard and finish strong in the workout. Hope you guys enjoyed today's. Make sure you get some good rest of it after it because we're doing a lot of strength today. So that's going to really tax your nervous system. So get some good night's rest. Um, and get lots of food in you so that you can come in tomorrow to attack the next workout. Hope you guys enjoy this one. See you guys tomorrow.